Welcome to the first installment of MTI Commerce's Back Office Live for eBay video tutorial. Once you launch the application, you'll see this main screen. And this is what we call your business picture. From here, you're able to immediately see how your business is doing. So you can see your total units sold for the month, your total sales for the month, total cost for the month, as well as total profit. And you can also see just a general, what you currently have, the total number of units on hand the total value of your inventory, which is based on 75% of your selling price, but that can be edited to create a more accurate picture for you. You can also see the total selling price of all of your items combined. You also have the CRM box, which includes several quick links just to get to certain parts of the application quickly. And the same goes for the reporting box. And you have the sales history box, which actually shows you a bar graph of the past 13 months just showing you how your sales are doing over the, that time period. And on the left is the menu, which is the main part of the application that you use to navigate. So this installment of the video tutorial is just going to cover the inventory section of the Back Office Live for eBay application. So to begin with, we'll just click on items. And from here, you're able to see all of your listings on eBay as well as any necessary information such as the description, the department, the cost, the starting auction price, or if you're doing buy it now, the fixed price, the supplier, the number of units that you have on hand or on order, and you are able to search for a specific listing using the search bar at the top of the screen. If for any reason you need to remove an item from the application, you just go and click the red X next to that item and then just go ahead and click yes. For example, you would do this if maybe you don't sell that item anymore and you no longer want it to show up in your reports. To see detailed information for an item or to edit an item's information, just click the small magnifying glass icon next to that item and this will bring you to the detailed information screen and you're able to edit any of this information so you can change the department, the supplier, your cost. The application automatically pulls in any listing fees or PayPal fees, any fees that you're paying and it'll also automatically pull in your auction start price. You are able to set an order point if it is an item that you reorder so that would be the minimum number that you want to have on hand and this will assist you when you're using the purchase advisory feature. You can also fill out the hot item threshold or the slow item threshold. That is a number that you determine but that will allow you to run reports to see if that item is selling a lot or not selling well. Now from the detailed item screen we're also able to see and enter descriptions a uh, long and short description for items as well as pictures which are automatically pulled from eBay and you can see any items sales history this item in particular it hasn't been sold so there is no history for it but normally you would see over the past 13 months the total quantity sold total sales the cost of sales and your actual profit now if we go back to the items screen we are able to add new items, so if you've got inventory that you don't have listed on eBay but you want to add it into the application, just go ahead and click the Add New Item link and fill in the necessary information. Give it an ID number, a title, department and vendor, a cost, a price, and then the number of units you want to have on hand and just click submit and it'll create that item. Now if we go back to the item screen you can see it was actually created. The kit merchandising option is used for setting up items as a kit or package deal. For example if you sell computer components but would like to offer a complete system at a discount this option works for promoting any package deal Inventory of all parts will be adjusted once the kit is sold. To create a new kit, just go ahead and click the Add New Kit link. 
and then give it a title. Select a department for it and a supplier and then click submit. And that will actually create it. And now down here you've got the individual parts for the kit. So you just select the item. The quantity that you want to include in that kit. And if you're doing a discounted price, you can go ahead and change the actual price. Let's add another item. So now that kit is created. Now if we go back, you can actually see this kit. It's created. It actually includes two items and it's at a discounted rate. Now if you do need to delete or remove a kit or and it has parts in it, you'll actually get this message right here. So you just need to go into the detailed view for the kit and just go ahead and delete the parts out of that kit and then go back and then click the red X and you can delete it. In the departments page, you're actually able to create or delete new departments as well as see your annual sales for a department, your annual cost, and your annual, uh, annual profit. If you need to delete a department, you just go ahead and click the red X next to that department name. Or if you need to edit it or see it in more detail, you just click the magnifying glass icon. Now to create a new department, we just click the add new department link at the bottom and enter a department name. We do allow for parent departments, so that would be parent department would parent and child department would be a department and sub department. And we just go ahead and click submit and then back and our new department's created and it's a sub-department of the one you see here. The suppliers page is very much like the departments or items page. If you need to delete a supplier you just click the red X next to their, their name. If you need to edit or view them in more detail you just click the magnifying glass icon. And to edit it, you just click the blue edit button. The application does come preset with just a generic one for an example. It's the reserved for MTI. To create a new supplier, you just click the add new supplier link. And then enter any information that you have for them. Now if we go back, that supplier is created. Now I know that not everyone that sells on eBay will need to use suppliers. Maybe you purchase your items from estate sales or yard sales, but if you do, you, if you do have suppliers, it will be very helpful for you to actually enter them into the application because it will apply to the purchase advisories. The purchase advisory reports are an excellent time-saving feature for users that reorder items from suppliers. And at any time you can run a purchase advisory report for all items that need ordering. And this is where entering those order points for your items becomes so important. So if we go in and we just select by vendor and select the vendor and then click submit. It'll ask us if we want to open a file. We can go ahead and open it. And the application actually, it automatically generates a suggested order number. So with this report, it's a PDF file, so you can actually just email it to your supplier or print it out and fax it to them, and you've actually gone ahead and completed your order. So now let's close the purchase advisory report and go back into the application. If we go into inventory reports, here you're able to run a wide variety of reports. 
using this drop down box. So you can run a general inventory, a hot selling or slow moving report, a report that shows you the cost of your sales or inventory valuation, zero sales report. A lot of sellers find this report particularly helpful. If you've got items listed on eBay and you don't have sales on them, there's not really any point in you continuing to pay the listing fees or any other fees to keep them on eBay. So you can run this report and see what items aren't being sold. You're also able to see negative on hand report and most and least sold reports. For the purposes of the demonstration, I'll just show you a general inventory report and you are able to filter using any of these categories but I'll just leave everything blank and we'll just click the blue submit button and then open the file. Let me open it, zoom in more. So you're able to see the item number for eBay, the description of that item, the department number that it's in, if you've entered locations, how many units you have on hand or on order, your cost for the item, and your actual price for the item, as well as the vendor. So all of these reports are really helpful just in keeping track of your inventory or the cost of your inventory, seeing what's moving, what's not moving. I'm gonna close this, and that actually concludes the inventory section of the Back Office Live video tutorial. And the next segment will actually be going over the CRM and email marketing functions in the application.